Hello, my wonderful Royal Watchers. Welcome to another episode. It's me coming at you with some news that I'm frankly not surprised about at all. Just like you, we are probably not big on surprises here. I mean, seriously, folks, does Megan have anything I'm touching the drama world? So let me dive into this mind blogging situation. So picture this. Meghan and Harry have just splashed a whopping 4.7 million on a Portugal holiday home. What's wrong with that? Oh, well, let me tell you, it's not just a holiday home. It's a massive 722 square meter palace. You see, my dear friends, until recently, there's this wonderful law in Portugal that made it very difficult to access public beaches. But now suddenly certain stretches of those beaches are being deemed private. And guess who's swooping in to take advantage? You guessed it. Our favourite spotlight hungry Jew. The locals are fuming and I don't blame them. Bradley McGuinness, a resident in the area, called it the worst thing happening to the Portuguese coastline. And can you really blame him? The average local had been creating memories in this place for generations. And now it's all becoming private. And here's where it gets interesting. Uh, another local resident shared how she used to camp there several times with beautiful memories. Now because of this development and people like Harry and Meghan buying up properties, they just can't. But let's connect some dots here because this development company, Costa Terra, is part of Discovery Land Company founded by Mike Meldon, who along with George Clooney invested that billion dollar tequila company uh, six years ago. So here's where things get suspicious. Where on the street is that one of the reasons they're buying this property? to get what's called a golden visa. That basically gives them visa-free access to European Union sh uh, Shenzhen area. Of course, this is a great move for them. Yes, maybe they're concerned about what might happen if a certain former president returns to power, folks. Remember, Donald Trump said he wouldn't protect Harry, but this isn't the first time our duo has managed to offend their neighbors. Oh no, let's take a trip down memory lane. These locals have some pretty interesting stories to tell us. Um, about all of this. Remember the neighbor in Montecito who's turned away at the gates. The security said they're not interested. And it gets worse. Richard Minard, another Montecito neighbor, told the Telegraph how disappointed everyone was that they barely see the couple. They're living in one of the most expensive areas and can't even be bothered to be a part of the community at all. That does, of course, say a lot. But oh God, guys, let me tell you about the latest disaster involving our favorite attention seekers. Remember the bookstore appearance where Oprah showed up mid-speech? Well, according to some interesting blind items from Crazy Days, you know who comes to mind is struggling to get any customers in the bookstore. Apparently, they're desperate considering to selling food. It's just so telling when you compare the behavior to our beloved William and Catherine who handle everything with grace and dignity. They understand what it means to be part of the community and to serve with actual care and grace and now here we are watching the same pattern unfold in portugal they haven't even moved in yet and they're already causing controversy and upset in the local community it's like how they have this special talent whether it's the royal family their neighbors in montecito and now the portuguese locals you know what really gets me the predictability of it all it's like watching a bad reality show you know exactly what's going to happen and you can predict every single move there guys so my dear viewers as your friendly neighborhood royal commentator has been following the saga from the beginning, I have to say none of this surprises me anymore. It's exactly what we've come to expect. They claim to care about communities and causes, but their actions show otherwise it's always about them. So here's my question to you, my audience. What do you think about this? Are you surprised about the Portuguese community? Or is this another day in the Sussex Circus? Let me know in the comments. And if you remember... If you enjoy this kind of royal tea spilling, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until next time, this is me signing off. As always, let's keep supporting our real royals, William and Catherine, and showing us every day what true service and dignity look like.